Rachel Haynes, the Festival of Reach is over. How's it feel? Yeah, I'm surprisingly I've held it together a bit more than what I thought I would. I think I was, yeah, it's, it's been a strange week to, to sort of process. And when I announced my retirement six weeks ago, I knew I was ready for, for the next challenge. But yeah, this week I've certainly been in more of a reflective mood and, and certainly noticed at different times, um, yeah, I suppose feeling a bit more emotional about the decision um, than what I had been leading up to it. But yeah, by the same token, I, I know that I'm certainly ready for the next challenge. And um, despite the result tonight, was was able to enjoy just spending one last time out there. Has it hit you? Oh, it probably will at some point, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, probably when you know the Aussie girls start playing again and, and all those sorts of things. And um, I suppose the game just rolls on. But yeah, for the for the time being, I, I'll certainly just enjoy this moment in the sheds with the the playing group. And um, yeah, I, I suppose get ready for what's next. I think one of the great things about today and tonight is it, it's shown how worthwhile your career has been to a lot of people. It's meant a lot to them. Um, did you think that could be the case when you started playing cricket all those years ago as a, a school kid? Yeah, I, I suppose I didn't. I suppose I spent the, the first part of my career playing in front of family and friends and those sorts of things. But certainly over the last probably five, six years, the game has just gone to a whole, whole new level. And I think cricket in Australia has done a fantastic job in engaging the, the public and, and I suppose um, sharing who all the different players are and um, you know, obviously the success as well probably of, of the Australian women's team and, and also our, our club at different times has, has certainly helped with that. So yeah, it was really, really nice to, tonight uh, to have that support in the crowd and, and feel, feel the love, so to speak. Um, and yeah, obviously incredibly appreciative towards the, the effort that's gone into it. Rich, you've, um, you've ridden the highs and lows of um, Sydney Thunder's first eight seasons. I want to ask you what the highlight was, because that'd be pretty hard, but um, <laughs> what stands out in your mind? Like, how do you think you'll look back on your career in the green? Oh, definitely the, the championships were, were awesome to be part of. And, you know, the first one we achieved together as a, a whole club, the, the men's and the women's side, and um, also I won through COVID too. That was pretty special in, in challenging circumstances. but. The other thing that's rewarding too is just watching other players come through and I suppose as the longer your career goes on the more you appreciate th that side of it so to see players like Hannah Darlington, um, Belinda Vakawira who came back to the club this year, um, Phoebe Litchfield as well who's been incredible and taken her game to another level it's it's just really exciting to, to see that happen too. That's great and finally any words of wisdom or any advice <laughs> to, and or any shout outs to the, the people who have supported you? Oh look, obviously I'm incredibly grateful to, to all the support I've received over my career, not just from my family, but from the whole game, whether it be my, my club, um, coaches, administrators. I think to play at this level, it's not something you achieve by yourself. You certainly need the support of those around you. And, and probably the other thing I, I want to recognise is just the, the women who really laid the foundation for me and for others who get to enjoy it now as players. Um, you know, they did the, the hard yards and, uh, you know, probably weren't rewarded in the same way that we've been able to, but I, I just feel incredibly grateful to them um, who, who um, yeah, laid that foundation and also the administrators at the time who continued to push for us as well. Well, Rachel, you've left a great legacy and set a huge benchmark. Thank you for everything. Thank you.